In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create blog posts using AI. Now, before we get started, I'm going to leave all relevant links I use inside this video in the description below. And I'm also going to assume that you already have a blogging platform available to you, something like WordPress, which is what I'm going to be using in this video. And if you don't know or have a WordPress website, I'm going to leave a link below, which is a in detail, step-by-step -step training on how you can use WordPress and set yourself up your very own blogging website. The first website I want to introduce to you is called WordPlay and I've left a discounted link in the description below. Now, WordPlay is quickly growing on me because it's one of the best tools when it comes to using AI to write content. Now, one important thing when it comes to creating content with AI is 80% of the heavy lifting of the writing should be done by the software and 20% should be done by you where you proofread it, you factually check it and you just make sure it all flows well. Now what we're going to do, we are going to create content based on a title. So we're going to head over to create and this is where we start adding titles. Now I'm not one of these super intuitive people who likes to reinvent the wheel. So I just like to go over to Google and I like to see what's already working. So if I type in my niche, so let's just say we're accountants today. So I'm gonna type in accountants and I'm just gonna have a look at what's going on. Now, I like using these questions here of what Google is recommending because it's usually high intent uh, long tail keywords. They're also questions which makes it easier to write about. And also we know that if Google is showing it in this area, in the snippet preview area, then people are constantly asking it. So all in all, it's a good, quick, cheap method of finding long tail keywords that are going to rank for us. Now we can create one big blog answering all four of these questions, or we can just answer one question. So I'm just gonna go ahead and answer this one, which is what are the four types of accountants? So we're gonna grab this question and head over to our software. We're going to paste this in like so, and we can in fact add all four of those questions, but just for simplicity, we're just leaving it like this. We're just going to give it a name, a description, and we'll choose the language. Then we do submit going to do confirm and now in a matter of moments it's finished writing so if we look at preview you can see it's actually added four types of accountants and then which ones you should actually work with so that is pretty impressive now what we're going to do we're going to do quick copy here and we're going to head over to our wordpress websites and you want to click on add new post and then we're going to paste in the text. And you wanna make sure you paste it in the text area because it's got the tags. And if you're not sure what these tags are, H1 stands for heading, and then you'll also see H2, H3, H4, and it's basically a way of telling Google how important each heading is. Next, we're gonna add in the title of the article here, and we're just going to remove this title from the actual blog post. Now, what you'll notice is that each one of these headings are in fact H2. And sometimes you say to yourself, well, should we also add in H3, H4, H5? Now, in this blog, I'm not actually going to do that because I'm gonna be focusing more on internal linking. And I'm gonna quickly show you how we can do that in just a second. But ultimately, this is a great opportunity to then take what is an audit, for example, head back over to the WordPlay platform, click create content, and now we're gonna head into topic mode. So click on create topic mode, and we're gonna paste in what is an audit, and then we're gonna paste in a financial advisor, we're gonna paste in a bookkeeper, and we're gonna put questions on each one just so the software knows what it is we're talking about. So it now knows it's a question, so it's going to answer it in a question format. We're going to do a tax accountant and we're just going to use those titles. I'm just going to enter some information here and do submit and then do confirm. This is going to create five 1000 worded articles. Whilst we're waiting for all of these to load, we're going to head back over to our post and we're just going to do publish. We now have those posts and now that's been published. So if we quickly go to the front of the site 
we've now got this blog post here. Now it's up to you if you add images, etc. And you should add images because it makes the post more engaging and also Google prefers when the reading experience is as visual as possible. Okay, so now these five articles have finished being created. And if we go into preview, it's now telling you what an audit is. And if we go into a financial advisor, you can see it gives more information about that, a bookkeeper, and bit by bit, it gives more and more information. Now, it's not always accurate, these articles, and sometimes it does have a bit of a episode, but that is why 80% is done by the software and 20% is done by the human fact checking. So the question is, what is it we're now going to do with these articles? So we're going to do almost the exact same as we did before. So we're going to do quick copy and we're going to add a new post. We're going to click text and paste it in. And then we're going to take the title and paste it into the post. And then we're going to do publish. And I'm going to repeat the process with all of these and we'll be back in a second. Okay, and with the magic of editing, we have now added all of those posts into our blog post. And the question is, what next? So I wanna talk a little bit about internal linking. And this is quite controversial in the SEO world, but 80% of SEO or search engine optimization, which is where how Google ranks your content so people see it, is done on page, which is everything we do on the website in its own right. And then the other 20% is with other people sharing your website and you sharing it off the platform so other people are seeing it. And that's the way Google says, hey, this website is the dog's bollocks. That's what you know, people are sharing it, it must be good quality content. Of course, there's other factors, but specifically, let's just focus on internal linking. This is the original post that we created. As you see, we've got the subheadings of all the other posts that we created. So we're gonna go ahead and click edit post. And now we're going to highlight each title and click the link button. And then we're going to type in the name of the article that it's relating to. So remember, we created subheadings or sub articles of each of these subheadings. So what is an audit? We created an article about what is an audit. Okay, so we're going to link it like so. And we're gonna do the same with a financial advisor, a financial advisor. And we're gonna do the same with a bookkeeper. And we're going to do the same with an accounting firm. We're also going to do the same with a tax accountant. And then we're going to go ahead and publish it. So now when we scroll down, you see that not only have we created kind of like an overview of this main topic, but we've also created articles for each sub heading, which means that when someone wants more information about this area, they can click on the title or wherever you decide to link it, and it's going to show them a ton more information about that specific article. Now, if you've learned something here today, or I've shown you a new way to really quickly use AI to create, honestly, unlimited amounts of blog posts in a very short period of time, please make sure to click the like button button of this video and feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.